Well, you know what magicians say? Before they start their act, nothing up my sleeves. Neither of them, except my arms, of course, and some hands. And now we're ready to start. Here's a tray with very normal looking objects on it. It's got a jug full of water. London water, I like it. An empty glass. And a rather smart pottery jug, which I think you'll find is empty as well. Now, what do we do with jugs? Well, we fill one with the other, I suppose, so let's have a go. See if it all goes in. That's a nice sound. Now I think we're ready. Now we have to fill the glass, but you have a choice here because you can have something on the top if you like. But for this one, for some reason or other, you can also have it from the bottom of the jug. Well, what's going to happen? Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness me! How did it start? Oh, say when? You say when? Okay, stop. How did it stop? Goodness, have a bit more from the top. That's extraordinary. It's a jug which should deliver water from the top of the jug or from the bottom of the jug. It doesn't matter which. Let's see if I can do it once more time. I've got to swill it like that, so no, I'll put that back in there and make it look easier. Now we can have it from the top of the jug, but you can also opt to have it from the bottom of the jug. Swirl it around and swirl it around a bit, and then down it comes. Oh my goodness me, how on earth can that work? And how did it turn on and say when, when? Oh, how did it turn off? Well, can't give you any clues, I'm afraid. It's a magic trick. And it just requires that and a jug of water and a glass. And it's amazing. I've had one of these in my collection, incidentally, for about 30 years and had such fun with it. So, see if you can have a go.